Well, it's been called a backflip, reversal and, and unscrambling the egg, but Frank Lowy says he's simply changing to suit the times. I caught up with the Westfield chairman earlier today. Frank Lowy, thanks for joining Late Line Business. It's a pleasure. Well, this restructure has been described as unscrambling the egg, a partial reversal of the consolidation that took place in 2004. Why is it necessary? Well, I think it's wrong to characterize it as unscrambling the egg. That egg was good, what it was doing, but I think that there are other ways to run this business in a different capital structure that I believe will produce more for the shareholders. So how is this structure going to help Westfield Group's growth? Well, it can grow the same as it did before, with less capital. And if it means that we use less capital, earnings per share should be more than it was before. Because we have, we're gonna, we, 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 we have now created a partnership with the Westfield Retail Trust, and whatever we build between, from now on, they will be, they are 50% partner, a bit less in some others because we have other partnerships. So, I mean, we are looking to spend about uh, between 700 million to a billion dollars per annum in redevelopment. Out of that, our own capital will only be needed around 300 million dollars. So we need less money to create the same business. And is this a vote of confidence in the U.S. economy, a sign that you're going for growth in the U.S.? Yes, I mean, there are opportunities everywhere, but this is, I don't think we can characterize it that we're doing it because we want to grow. We have a platform now for the next few years where we'll be spending about a billion dollars a year, of which we need about three or four hundred. Now, we generate uh, cash reserves within the, within the group of six hundred million dollars. So that means we can grow without raising additional capital. But if we see something that requires more capital or go into a new market where it requires additional capital, there's no reason why we can't raise it. On another matter, uh, are you in talks to sell part of the Stratford development uh, in the UK and part of the Sydney development? No, well, it's not, not quite the case, so if, if you don't mind. The one that we built in Sydney, the partner will be the Westfield Retail Trust because they will, they will own 50% and we will own the other 50%. We have advised the market and our, and our shareholders that we intend to do joint venture partnerships in other parts of the world. Yes, there are a number of institutions that want to make an investment in our new big shopping center under construction now in London, in Stratford, where the Olympics are going to be. And we are looking at that. Also. Also, we have, prior to the financial crisis, we sold about, uh, I don't know, about 15 or 20 centers that didn't fit into our criteria. And we are going to sell some more, which are um, the lower tier centers, and there's no room for redevelopment in them anymore. And, of course, they, they, uh, they return good income, but we can't improve the income that much more. So we are, we are concentrating, we did, we will, we are concentrating on using uh, the, the capital in properties that can grow more than others. Are you interested in any of Centro's assets? Well, let me tell you. I have no idea whether we are interested or not because we haven't even looked at it. So you're not ruling it out? I, I, it's unlikely that we will because I do... I, I know that we have sold central properties ourselves, so I, th I don't think it's likely. Should we expect any more structural change in the Westfield Group? We are looking at capital management very seriously all the time. And it's not only a property business or a development business, it is the capital management that makes the company so successful because we are flexible in that and, 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 and at certain times different capital structure is needed. And I think we are able to, to do that in addition to what we do to our business. And what about speculation that you're interested in China? We will be there one day. It's not necessarily speculation. We have intentions to grow in new markets, but not when the media talks about it, but when we make up our mind. Frank Lowy, thanks for joining Lightline Business.
Okay. Pleasure.